We have a sad update for you now on a story that has touched the hearts of so many of you folks. Uh, that emaciated dog that had been treated at Fort Wayne's Animal Care and Control didn't make it. However, as Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose explains now, the criminal investigation into who starved that pup is in full swing. This doesn't do anything to our investigation from where we go from here. But it's not the update leaders at Animal Care and Control wanted to give. For more than a week, the medical team treated a severely emaciated dog who'd been dumped on the city's southeast side, giving him IV fluids, keeping him warm, monitoring him with regular blood samples, and feeding him all that his body could tolerate. Thursday, he stopped eating, and tests showed he wasn't producing red blood cells, so he was given a dog blood transfusion Friday in a last-ditch effort to prop up his failing systems. They were trying everything they could, and so when that blood transfusion just wasn't getting them the results that they had hoped for, and they were faced with, um, you know, prolonging his life and his suffering, they made the decision that humane euthanasia, I mean, he was beyond the point of saving at that point. The medical team is so distraught about losing him that they had to take a few days off work. Even the shelter's front office staff was emotionally invested because so many people called all day long for updates on the dog's condition. The medical team estimated the pup was 10 months to a year old and had been kept indoors in a crate for months in his own filth. He was too weak to walk. Holly Pasquinelli says it's important to find the person responsible. Tips are what we need so that we can keep pushing this case forward. This dog was in such bad shape. What do the people in this household look like? Are there children in this household? We know that there's a direct link between animal abuse and neglect and other types of abuse and neglect. So it's the big picture of making sure that everyone who lives under the roof where this dog was is well taken care of and is getting the service that they need. The person who starved the dog could face up to a level six felony, which is punishable by up to two and a half years in prison and a $10,000 fine. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC. If you know who starved that dog or have other helpful information that could help investigators, you're asked to call Animal Care and Control. There is the number on your screen. It is 427-1244, option one.